Alright, standing at the back, but you've all been asking for it. A random race with all the removed cars. This should be an interesting one. This video is brought to you by the Twitch area of my website. Check out my stream schedule and what I'll be playing each stream, as well as info on emotes, sub badges, donation sounds and more at bruffy.com slash twitch. Yes, all the lesser used cards. Like the Feltzer, of course, that much lesser used car. Nobody, nobody uses the Feltzer anymore. <laughs> That's what this whole race is going to be about. And in the spirit of cut content, we're on the Cutting Cutting Coroner's track. The track that we used for the All Vehicles Random All a few years ago. Which is basically a cut down version of the regular Cutting Coroner's GP. So some of the corners have been cut off the track and we're racing in some of the cars that have been cut from vanilla GTA. <laughs> it just makes sense. So there's about, I think there's 148 in the uh, random selection list. Now it's, that's not all of them. Obviously there's close to 200, but none of the bikes, or there may be one or two bikes like the Akuma, but most of the bikes aren't here because generally bikes aren't on the server um, and a few odds and ends here and there that aren't available on Project Homecoming for whatever reason but most of the vehicles that Rockstar removed from the websites are in the list and we're going to be getting them for 25 minutes at random and I also threw in a few oddballs here and there um, you'll see, we'll see if we pass any of them anyway for example, instead of an Asterope, there might be something different. <laughs> instead of a Habanero, there might be something different. <laughs> so, yeah. All these vehicles removed from the websites. Damn, the SM722. Oh, that's a modern vehicle. I didn't, re I didn't even re realize they removed this. for that one, interesting. It's been a bit looking different. Oh, it's carnage. Oh, it's all carnage. No one cared for it. I mean, that's true. I didn't care for it either. It was a pretty inconsequential vehicle. Alright, Zion. I didn't, uh, I didn't double up on some of the cars as well. Like, Zion and Zion Cabrio both removed, but I decided to just add one of the Zions to this class rather than you know giving us double chance to get certain vehicles that are pretty much identical. Yeah, can't buy a Zion anymore, that classic dominator of coupes until for for the longest time. But yeah, there will be an element of randomness to this. It's not like a random select where everybody gets the same cars by the end. Everybody will get a set selection out of the 148 that have been removed. Is that our 380? That's not removed. Wait, I'm confused. And the Corsita. We've seen a Corsita and that's not removed. Something's gone wrong somewhere. <laughs> so... Something's definitely gone wrong somewhere. The Pariah... They didn't remove the Pariah, did they? The Rapid GT's gone, but... We're going to have to restart, because something's gone wrong. I think I know what you did. When finding the photo, you picked the Sports A class, not your custom class. Ah, oh, that's what I've done. Yeah, okay. So we just did... That was basically a random race with the Sports A class when I was looking for the filter to start the racing. Okay, that's what I did. All right, we'll try again. <laughs> False start. Theme. No, custom. That's what I did. Removed cars class. That's what I wanted. And then I choose the car to start with from here. Okay. All right, these are all the cars that we should be getting. 
Oh my god, I've started at the front as well. <laughs> this is so rigged. This is so much more rigged. <laughs> oh my god, I don't... <laughs> wow. Maybe I should go to the back just on, on purpose because this is so rigged. <laughs> Second version, I get to start at the first row. <laughs> I'm going to get some of the bogey vehicles absolutely 100% guaranteed for getting the luck to start at the front. So we start again. <laughs> I mean, I've already explained the race. Cut content. Cars that were removed from Vanilla GTA. Track. Cut, cut, cut down version of cutting corners. Coroners. Word. Word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And now, now we actually see the cars that are meant we're meant to see. That's the plan anyway. That felt's are still there. Well, finished the first lap in the lead. The Rustin. The uh, it, it's ironic, isn't it, that we cut the first race short. <laughs> Like yeah, it, it's it's fitting for what we've just what we're doing today, really. Cars cut from the game. Track corners cut from it. And the first race entirely was cut short because it was messed up. You couldn't write it. <laughs> All right, rusting into the XLS. Had the Jester race car for Loomis and now the bullet. Most of the cars brake boost felt to behind. There's um There's there's the other the the, the one of the other variants. It, it's not all bad vehicles, but the brake boost felt is the most difficult one because you can't brake. <laughs> you have to use the handbrake to slow down. But you get some speed from it. Oh, is that the sentient Vamos? I put the sentient Vamos in instead of the regular Vamos. <laughs> Master's got it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get one of those. I'm, I can feel it already. Yeah, I thought I would add a few bogey vehicles just to, you know, just to make it... There's the habanero roll instead of the habanero roll. <laughs> yeah, I thought I would add some of the... Yeah, I had to, I had to do that, really. I, I, I could keep it as interesting as possible. Otherwise, it would have just been like, you know, I wanted to increase the look aspect by adding those bogey vehicles. But they're still, you know, serving as versions of regular vehicles that have been removed. Habanero was removed. Felsa was removed. June buggy gone. At least you can store this if you find one. Into the lead, by the way. That ETR1 lap was pretty good. Is that that happen air roll still? <laughs> EC V8, I thought I would include this instead of just the bog standard EC. Give a bit of a challenge. There's there's two Stanster Orbs together and they wiped each other out! <laughs> the two Stanster Orbs! That's what I put in instead of the Aster Orb, obviously. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I mean, with the removed vehicles, the lesser used vehicles that Rockstar, re you know, removed from the websites, there are plenty of them that you can still find on the street and store. But I think if Rockstar had, like, like the Fugitive, for example, and I think if Rockstar had only removed those, it wouldn't have been a big problem. But it's the fact that they removed so many that you can only buy. And then the aspect of... 
when you try to take one of the cars on the street, like that it's too expensive. It's more than a hundred. It's worth more than a hundred k. Like you, you find a filter on the street and you try to take it into your garage, and it says, "This is too hot to store. Consider buying it instead." It's like, oh, I can't. <laughs> Thanks, game. Such a dumbass. Um, decision. Such a shame. Classic iconic cars that you've got to wait for. There's been, there's still been, even now, we're what, like. Three months later and there's still been like over there's hundreds and hundreds of cars still <laughs> there's okay there's one of the bogey vehicles I put this in instead of the F620 because of course I did <laughs> uh, and of course it would be this car that drops me down into second place I just went for meme versions of some regular vehicles, just to keep it interesting. The yeah, F620 is gone. I'm not too bothered about that one. <laughs> but again, you can store it from the from the street anyway. Okay, a hairpin's going to be difficult. We got it. We got it. The Serrano, what a classic. There's another sentient Vamos. Habanero recovering. Uh, but yeah, we're three months in and there's still hundreds of vehicles that haven't been made available uh, in the various stores. Obviously, you know, they're, they're putting vehicles into Simeon's dealership and uh, the luxury autos and stuff like that, but actually the vast majority of the time, those vehicles aren't previously removed vehicles. We get a maximum of like three or four previously removed vehicles every week because I keep track of it. So it's going to take forever to go through all of them. And if there's a specific car that you wanted, you'd be waiting ages for them to decide to allow it to be bought. It's a stupid system, really. And then they've put some cars for sale in those places twice, <laughs> when other cars haven't been made available once. Absolute dumbassery. But we had to streamline the browsing experience of the websites. Of course we did. Can't have those websites be too cluttered. Gotta remove all those lesser used vehicles. Contender wants the top car in the SUVs class. This is just going to be like vehicle envy for people, isn't it? For those who've never, like, don't, oh God. Those who, who, who don't have, like, people will see cars in this race and be like, oh, I want that. And then the realization will hit that, oh, I can't buy it. <laughs> But yeah, if you, if you subscribe to Bruffy Plus, you will be allowed to do the full Cutting Coroner's GP track on the next random race. And all vehicles will be restored. <laughs> and we'll do the race first time correctly next time. <laughs> but only for Bruffy Plus Oh, I got, I got stance to roped. God damn it. 
Well, it was going well. That's that's interesting. I um. I suffered a disadvantage from my decision to put the meme vehicles in without having to actually get the vehicle myself. <laughs> just that's what's just happened right there. Oh, there's this is another meme vehicle that I added, the POT Gasser. Well, it's not really. I didn't have a choice. The P.O.T. Gasser is the P.O.T. Gasser on Project Homecoming. It just, it's a drag car on here. It's not really, I had, if I wanted to include it. I mean, it performs more like it should. <laughs> that bloody sentient vamos. We've seen a few of those. There's a stance up again. I suppose we're seeing a fair few of the meme vehicles because there's probably about like 10 or so. So, you know, it, it's closing in on maybe 10% of all the vehicles are meme -y. The meme ver variety, variations of them. God, there's a Russo. Such a new vehicle as well that they removed. God, absolute carnage. I knew that Raptor was still going to be there. I was never going to be able to take that corner nicely. Alright, Hustler. Great vehicle, the Hustler. So much fun to race with. We've had some great races in this. been almost four years since it came out. What, there's a Russell? I thought it was like 2021 or something. Damn, time absolutely flies. So Russell was 2019, no way. Bloody hell. Oh, I knew I was gonna get one of these. I've had, I've been teetering on the verge of getting a meme vehicle, but not too bad. Now it went too bad. <laughs> Bollocks. I regret, I regret all the decisions I made. Well, we were leading for a short time. We were in second place for a long time. Now I'm a lap down. <laughs> it's only gonna get worse. God. Well, this is my this is my comeuppance, isn't it? For having the audacity to take advantage of starting on pole position on the redo. Permanent care boosts. Why is this not the fastest car? I don't know. It might be the square wheels that have something to do with that, but I can't say for sure. Oh, thank God. Sylvester time now. We've still got 10 minutes to go. You never know. Although I was just about to say, it might happen to someone in front. And lo and behold, in seventh place, there is a Carbony Square. There it is. <laughs> oh, no, that's a different one. Like, the chances of getting one of the meme variants is actually relatively high.
So you never know. It might happen to someone in front. I might be able to get back into the top five. Don't think I'm winning the race with Locke and Loomis standing on that second row and currently dominating Mild in third. Sterling GT. Amazing that they removed this. This is another one. After they after they gave it um, HSW upgrades and then they removed the ability to buy it. Like just craziness. It was in GTA Plus uh, car club thing though I suppose but still. Can't buy it now. I don't recognise the Vinewood Car Club GTA Plus nonsense as being a thing. I just ignore its existence. Still haven't bought GTA Plus. There's a few carbonate squares around now. Hellion. That's gone. I'm so I'm keeping track of when the cars return uh, on my spreadsheet. The GTA 5 vehicle stats spreadsheet which you can get to by profi.com slash GTA 5 vehicle stats um, I'm, I, I obviously noted down all the vehicles that were removed and I am keeping track of the um, when they come back and how they come back whether it's simions the test track at the car meet luxury autos things like that and I'm just curious to see obviously only time will tell how long it's going to take before we get the last vehicle again. Like, what the last vehicle will be that gets that gets brought back that they originally removed and how long it takes to get to that point. I'm expecting somewhere at the end of 2024, truthfully. <laughs> With the rate that they've been releasing them so far. Super Diamond, still in 8th, not really going to do much to chase down a Chebarek in a Super Diamond. going to be chasing down a Sylvester in a Stratum either. I'm pretty sure that's a Masakro race car behind me. I'm pretty sure there is another type of Masakro in the race but I don't think I've seen it yet. I'm pretty sure I added it. In addition to the race car. I don't think I've seen one. The Brawler. Great car. Oh, here we go for seventh place. Raptor. That horrific machine. Should be able to get this done in the brawler. Oh, maybe not. We have the acceleration. Just Schwarzer versus Zion Classic. The outside of 250 ping is never a good idea, but we made it work. Oh god, the stance to rope. 
That was for sixth, wasn't it? Yeah, there, there we go. I'm in sixth. Now I'm in fifth. Just after crashes had happened there, I think. And into the gauntlet. God, what a classic car the gauntlet is. What a machine. So there was, there's the, uh, the vehicle that I was talking about. <laughs> I did put in the slight drift massacre. There's absolute carnage going on at the minute. That's the first one I've seen with the slight drift massacre. Shafter. Chasing down the Seminole for a top five. It's a three-way battle for a top five, it seems, I think. 46 seconds behind fourth, so that's not going to happen. Ah, I missed it. 7.70. All right, I need a good lap here. need a clean lap. Getting into the final stages of the race. If I want to keep this top five, I'm going to drive away from this Patriot. 770 is a great card. It handles so nicely. Oh no, the Fagaloa. I mean, it's a fun little car, but it's slow. Oh yeah, the Infernus. I put the Drift Spec Infernus in as well. Oh, this is scary. There's three of them. Come on, Fagaloa. You can do it. Don't get bullied. It only got a little bit bullied. It's all right. Okay, Cyclone, two minutes to go. Hey, <laughs> did Mike got the Fagalora just after me. Amazing. Right next to me. Oof. So I think I'm a lap down from the top four at this point. 53 seconds. Yeah, I'm 100% a lap down from the entire top four. So it is a fight over fifth place, really. Picador Loco Drag! Yep, I added this one instead of the regular Picador as well. <laughs> At least it's one of the more manageable... manageable drag cars to handle. But it's not as manageable as a regular Picador would have been. No way there's a Picador Loco Drag behind me as well. In sixth. Speed break <laughs> Speed <laughs> Alright Jester could this be the final lap? I think we No Go 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 <laughs> That could have been a lot worse Jester versus a stinger should be able to pull away after the time loss from that crash. I think we'll get one more lap in based on where the leaders will be and when they'll finish. 
In fact, there is lock behind me in first place. No! Oh, and lock up the stance to rope! <laughs> no way! Oh god, there he goes! No! <laughs> oh god! Oh, I think I'm gonna lose fifth though with this. Rapid GT Classic behind. I've got a seven second gap. It depends where the leader is. We might get another lap after this. After because Locke would have finished the race and as long as whoever's in the lead doesn't pass me. Come on, nice and easy round the hairpin. Oh, there's fifth place, but we're gonna get another lap to try and get it back. No, oh, come on! <laughs> Okay, we're not getting fifth place unless a crash happens. I mean, the Washington's got some good grip. I need to utilize all of the cornering speed available. Try to get around the traffic. I've closed in. Nah, I've watched it. Pushing too hard. <laughs> I don't think it was going to happen anyway, to be truthful. Oh, that was fun though. That was a fun end. I'm the last person to finish as well. Shame I couldn't get something more to fight with on that last lap, but... It was an up and down race, that one. Sixth. And Locke ended up succumbing to the... The stance to rope on the final lap to lose. I should have just slowed down and not got an extra lap. Yeah, I know. But props that you didn't. Uh, it's it's a little scumbaggery. There's, there's there's definitely elements of scumbagginess for those who slow down to to not get the extra lap. So I, I'm I'm pleased that you didn't. Give us all a good laugh. <laughs> Top four were a lap ahead. Then there was me and Stand, and then a lot of people with 34 laps complete. That was fun. That was really fun in the end. I'm glad I put in some of the meme vehicles and we got to see a load of the removed vehicles again. Never forget. <laughs>